Happy Kwanzaa and welcome to the Los Angeles Sentinel Daily Brief. This is where we talk black and talk back to the headlines impacting the black experience. I'm Neil Anderson and here's what you need to know for today. The House of Representatives recently unanimously passed a bill to posthumously award a congressional gold medal to Emmett Till. The Chicago teenager murdered by white supremacists in the 1950s and his mother, Mamie Till Mobley. Now the bill which passed the Senate in January is meant to honor Till and his mother who had insisted on an open casket funeral to demonstrate the brutality of his killing. With the highest civilian honor that Congress awards, the medal will be given to the National Museum of African American History where it will be displayed near the casket Till was buried in. Now, if you recall earlier this year, President Joe Biden signed the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill, making lynching a federal hate crime, which took over 60 years to pass. However, it acknowledges how racial violence has left a lasting scar on the nation and asserting that the crimes are not a relic of our bygone era. Now, meanwhile, in August of this year, a Mississippi grand jury declined to indict Carolyn Bryan Donham, whose accusations set off the lynching of Teal. That decision came despite recent revelations about an unserved arrest warrant and the 87-year-old Donham's unpublished memoir. So this symbolic gesture of a measure is appreciated. However, as you see, the wills of justice for black folks in America still has us fighting for fairness and justice. Now for more stories like this and the latest news impacting the black experience, you want to visit lasentinel.net. I'm Neil Anderson, and you have just been debriefed.